Hey everyone, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Saturday, July 11th, and we're going to be taking a look at some of the jeans that sold on eBay in the month of June. I've picked out some of the better bolos and bread and butter brands to show you guys so you know what to keep an eye out for when you're outsourcing, an idea of what you should be willing to pay up to for your cost of goods, and an idea of what you can sell these for on average. We're going to start with this pair of jeans you're looking at right now. This is Miss Me jeans, but they were made for buckle. So they're not as expensive or they don't have as high of a price tag as you would expect Miss Me jeans to have just because they are designed exclusively for buckle, as you can see here. Also, additionally, mine had some damage. One of the belt loops was ripped. I may have started these around 40 or 45. Normally I start Miss Me jeans around 50, so it's not that big of a difference having the buckle tag on there. It's absolutely still worth picking up if you see them out in the wild. They look exactly like normal Miss Me jeans, except for that tag with the buckle, but you can still start around 40 or 45. Um, I just had to subtract a little bit for the damage that mine had. These sold for a best offer of $30. So you can see um, anywhere from 30 to 40 if they have damage, a little bit more without damage. So you should be willing to pay out for these. I would probably still pay six or seven bucks for these. Then we have Adriana Goldschmied jeans. This is a brand you guys should all be looking out for. The thing I love about them is most of them have their name printed right on them. The legging super skinny fit. This is good for us because it gives us really great keywords to throw right into the title. We can just copy them right off the tag. It's also good for buyers because those buyers that wear and like the AG jeans know exactly what style they're looking for and exactly what fit. So when they go on Google, that's what they'll type in. Uh, and then if you have it in your title, yours will pop up. That's good to keep in mind for any brand of jeans, guys. If they have a name, if they have the fit in there, always use those as your keywords. Gap does it, American Eagle. Miss Me has the style numbers usually. Just make sure you're plugging those things into your title because that's what buyers are looking for. So I took a best offer of 26 on these AG, AG, Adriana Goldschmidt jeans. Typically, they usually go for about 25 to 35, depending on the style and size. I really wouldn't pay up for these too much, maybe three to four bucks at the most, depending on how comfortable you are with your profit margins. Uh, you might want to pay a little bit more. Here we have some Old Navy jeans. These are plus size. I love Old Navy, period. They're a really good bread and butter brand. They have a solid following of people that wear them. They know exactly what they're looking for when they go search. Plus size is a plus um, in any brand because you can charge a little bit more and they're gonna sell a little bit faster when they're plus sized. These sold for $22.99, so I would probably pay up to two or three bucks anyway for Old Navy, but especially when you find them um, plus sized. And you can see here, I did put Sweetheart in the title because that is the Sweetheart style or line for Old Navy. Next up, we have some area jeans. These are bread and butter. Um, I typically pass on them. However, these came in a Threadup box and they sold within like a couple days of being listed. So I've added these to actually my list of bread and butter jeans I would source when out and about. They sold really fast. They sold for $24.99 and they're a really small size, three, four. So um, it could have been just the right place at the right time. I'll have to test that theory out if I find any more of the areas in the wild when I'm out and about. That they sold for $24.99 means I would probably pay about two or three bucks for these max just to keep that nice profit margin that we like to have. Seven for All Mankind jeans. These are their standard and you can see I put that in the title. Again, putting exactly what's printed on the jeans in the title. These are also button fly, which adds to the value. These sold for $40.99. Now they are men's jeans and they are button fly, which adds to the value. 
women seven for all mankind i typically start around 35 get a best offer of 30 sometimes they'll sit around until i take 25 for them the men's will sell for a little bit more button fly especially these were also altered so i probably would have listed these more around 46 48 but they were altered um, and i did disclose that jeans have been hemmed see description for measurements and then i put the inseam and the outseam there uh, seven for all mankind women's I would probably pay three four four max maybe five or six for men's maybe even up to seven if they weren't altered and had this nice button fly here's some more Adriana Goldschmidt jeans this ones have a hole in them which believe it or not distressing holes and ripped and destroyed jeans always make them more valuable this is the legging ankle super skinny ankle I put as much of that as I could into the title and this pair sold for $30.99 so a little bit more than the other pair here we have some cut from the cloth that came in a thread up box cut from the cloth is a good brand to look for but it's not one you want to pay maximum prices for they just don't sell for as much money as they used to this pair sold for a best offer of $29.69 and they sold really fast within a couple days of being listed. I'm assuming that's because they have this nice shark bite raw hem. So if you ever see hems that go up in that little inverted triangle there, that's called a shark bite. It's popular. People look for that. Um, but as far as cut from the cloth goes, I consider it a bread and butter brand and I really wouldn't pay more than two or three bucks for them. Here's some apple bottom jeans. These are nice looking ones with nice pockets. These sold for best offer of 20. So this is a bread and butter brand. I I pick up for 99 cents. If I didn't have 99 cents sales around me, I'd probably be willing to pay one or two dollars for apple bottom, but not much more than that. These, I probably, I don't know if I would even source for them anymore. Uh, we've had them forever. Apparently they fell off of eBay and I found them when I was doing inventory. So I did photograph and relist them because we already had them. They sold for $19.99, which is good for bread and butter. These were flared. Um, they just, they're nice looking jeans. They had a lot going for them, the way they look, the flare. And stuff like that these are nice looking jeans but I don't know that I would source them um, maybe if I found for 99 cents or like a buck 50 just because I know I can get 1999 for them here's some kooky jeans these used to sell for a lot more also back in the day I would pay up to 699 for these at our Goodwills now I wouldn't pay that much um, I took a best offer on these of 22.99 now these are plain just kind of plain blue I've had cookies that have had wild tribal prints on them, leaves. I've had some that were sequined, like a tiger face. Those I'd pay more for, but these plain ones, probably not so much. Um, in general, not full price. Definitely not seven bucks here is what full price is. Um, maybe four bucks at the most, or five if they're the really fancy, nice ones. And then we have some men's dicky carpenter work jeans. When you find jeans like this, you want to make sure you put stuff like that in the title. Here you can see I put work jeans. Um, men do wear these for many different types of work, construction, uh, welding, electricians, you name it. Uh, so you want to put that they're work jeans and you want to make sure that their carpenter is in the title as well. That's kind of like what people search for when they're looking for these types of work jeans. This pair sold for $24.70. I'd probably pay two or three bucks for these. Here's another pair of cut from the cloth. These ones are um, the boyfriend style, which we do really well with in any brand. This pair sold for $30.99, which is really good for cut from the cloth. I'm going to say it's because it was boyfriend um, and they were distressed. This is something that was new to me. I found in a thread out box that I've now added to my list to be looking for when I'm outsourcing. They're women's addicted jeans. Now this particular pair is boot cut. Um, really nice looking jeans with the nice pockets on the back. 
They sold within a couple days of listing for a best offer of 27. So I will definitely be looking for these and I would pay up to two or three bucks for them. Guys, you guys already all saw the Jenko jeans. So excited. These came in a wholesale box, so I didn't find them in the wild. I didn't have the chance of, you know, that thrill of the hunt to get these. There is this pair with the tribal crown, and you can see on the tag, these are the um, Janko tribal. So I did put that in the title, tribals. Big crown, baggy, wide leg denim, skater jeans. Those are all good keywords for these. And here's the other pair with the boxing glove on them, the nice big boxing glove. So both of these pairs sold for $90 on a best offer. I listed them both at $100 to start. The first pair sold within two days. The next one took about a week to sell. Uh, but they both went for $90, bucks, best offer. And we have a third pair still in the store. I'm waiting for that to sell. Um, I did get that one in a lot later, like a couple weeks later. So we'll see how long those take. Um, oh, since they sell for 90 bucks, clearly you should be willing to pay up to like 10 bucks, 15 even if you find Jankos in the wild. If you take really good pictures and you use really good keywords, they'll sell fast and they'll sell for good money. So be willing to pay up for these, definitely. All right, now we have some YMI, Wanna Better Butts. You guys know I love Wanna Better Butt jeans. In fact, I love any jeans that are uh, shaping or lifting in any kind of way. Women do definitely search for jeans that are going to be lifting, shaping, curvy. There's I want a better butt, uh, but I love you. The Chico's so lifting and so slimming. Uh, Not Your Daughter's Jeans has the Tommy Talk Revolution. Just keep your eyes peeled for jeans like that. They do really well. This pair had raw hems that were also distressed and ripped like that. Uh, they sold within a couple of days of listing as they always do for $18.99. Now, the Wanna Better Butts never sell for a lot, but they sell super fast. As soon as I can get them in the store, listed, they're sold. They typically ship first class, which this pair did do. Um, so, you know, two, three bucks maybe in the wild just because it's such a fast turnaround and you're not sitting on them forever. And then, of course, here's some Miss Me jeans. I personally pay up to $7 for straight up Miss Me jeans um, that aren't made for buckle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If they're just Miss Me jeans, I will pay up to 7 bucks for them. This pair sold for a best offer of 30 these sit around for a long time. I don't know what it was about this particular pair because if you look, it's got the nice ripped pockets. I'm going to blame my photos. Now, I can tell you that these have been around for over a year just by looking at the photos because I don't have any full length photos. And I used to not take those before I had the camera that enabled me to do it easily. And if you want to know how I take full length photos, I do have a video about how I take photos of, of the jeans. I did a three part series, in fact, back in December on how I measure jeans, photograph jeans, endless jeans. Um, from start to finish, I showed you my entire behind the scenes process and how I've adapted the routines to accommodate my disability and my bad back. Uh, but I used to not take the full length photos like this. And now I do, I found a way to do it and I show you guys how in the video. I, I'll have that pop up at the end for you in case you haven't seen it yet. But long, long ago and far away, I didn't put the full length photos and I think that was hurting my sales, honestly. I think that just by having these front and back folded, um, didn't help our sales and a lot of this stuff took a lot longer to sell so make sure you're doing a full length photo of your jeans guys because um it will help you sell your stuff so these miss me's have been around for at least a year if not longer so i finally just took a best offer of 30. it was either take a best offer of 30 and just sell them off or i would have to pull them out and re-photograph them to relist them at the um, price tag of 50 which I would have eventually done, but sometimes it's best just to say, take an offer, take the profits you can make and move on and keep listing newer items that you have found. 
These are Lee women's black jeans. Lee's not typically a brand I would uh, source, but I did get these for 99 cents. They sold for $21. So, you know, if you find Lee's that are like size 12, maybe 14 even and up for like a buck or two, they're going to sell um, for about 20 22 So you can spend up to like a dollar or two on them. And then here's some True Religion jeans. These are men's. And they did sell for a best offer of 35. I tried to start these at 40 and take best offers of 40 and 45. But these are older. Um, not that old as you can, not like a year because you can see the full length photo here. Um, but I did take a best offer of 35. True Religion, I would personally pay up to seven for. So um, you can figure out what your profit margins are um, and see if you're willing to pay that much, maybe five or six bucks. And then here we have some Joe's jeans. I took a best offer of $32.49 on this pair. These are the Vixen Ankle Sassy Skinny. So the Joe's jeans typically will also have a really nice name on the tag for you there. You want to put that in your title. That's what people are looking for. If they like the Vixen Super Sassy Skinny Ankle, that's a lot to say. Um, Joe's jeans do pretty well. They'll usually sell for about, you know, 30 to $35. Sometimes a little bit more depending on the style and the size. So this is something I would be comfortable paying up to like four or five for. And, uh, yeah, like I said, these sold for a best offer of $32.49. So you can see also that I priced all of our jeans higher than I intend to take an offer on. And that's so I can get what I want for them. Like, I start Miss Me's and True Religions at 50. Sometimes they'll sell for the 50 right off, which is great. But I fully expect to take a best offer of 40 or 45. But if that if I want 40 or 45, I've got to list at 50. If you list at 45 or 40 and you run best offers, you're not leaving yourself much wiggle room. So that's another reason why I recommend pricing high, not just to avoid the fast nickel in that race to the bottom that can destroy an entire market and make jeans like cut from the cloth and Lucky Brand not worth what they used to be, but it also allows you to have a little bit of wiggle room and that goes for Poshmark as well. You want to price high over there. Yes, they are paying shipping in addition to the prices, but you are also going to want room to send out offers to buyers and buyers like to see 20 and 30 percent off so make sure you're pricing accordingly leaving yourself some wiggle room pricing items at what they're worth and not participating in that race to the bottom all right guys let me know what you think down in the comments below please hit the thumbs up before you leave it really helps the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe help us feed a hungry hippo and don't forget to join our facebook group it's called flippin hippos reseller pod Link to join is down in the description box and it is free to join. And until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.